Their ancestors likely swam our oceans 400 million years ago, well before dinosaurs ever strutted on land. Sharks, as ghastly as they are graceful, have proven to be the ultimate survivors. And while much of their innate savagery occurs under cloudy seas, when it comes to attacks on humans, they are high-profile predators, with just about every incident making international waves. And these days, it's not all hype. Attacks on humans have increased by over 30% in the last five years. In partnership with Discovery Network, ABC's Sam Champion dives in with these awe-inspiring creatures to find out why. They're some of the most feared predators on the planet. With ferocious teeth and a bite from hell. You rarely see them coming. And I look down and there's this massive shark's head attached to me. But every so often, a person comes eye to eye with a killer and survives. I was swimming through a pool of my own blood and I thought I was dead. Take a close look. That's Paul de Gelder being pulled under. I could see the lip pulled back, I could see the gums, and I could see just these teeth, row of teeth all the way up across my leg and over my wrist. De Gelder, a highly trained diver, was out in the ocean off the coast of Garden Island, Australia, when a 10-foot bull shark shred through his arm and leg. All I could do was just flop around in the water while this monster was shaking me. My survival instincts kicked in, and I thought, I've seen Steve Irwin. I've seen Discovery Channel, I'll jab him in the eyeball. So I cocked back and I hit him once, and that did nothing. And he just started shaking me. And that's when the pain really kicked in. It was tearing the hamstring out of my leg and tearing my hand off. Experts say shark attacks on humans have reached an all-time high. It's been one of the most fatal years on record to a scary start to shark season. The jaws are inside the cage. A great white shark has killed a young surfer. There were 80 cases of unprovoked shark attacks on humans last year. 10 years ago, just 60 attacks. In some parts of the world, there's an alarming trend of sharks developing a fatal attraction to shallow waters. There are many species of sharks, but research shows shark populations are declining. So why are attacks on the rise? Some experts believe we could be to blame. They say humans have been destroying the oceans for decades, polluting the water, overfishing, and taking away the food sharks normally eat. Meet Devin Massane and Andy Casagrande. They are shark experts and stars of the Discovery Channel's Sharkpocalypse. Whoa, shark in the right. Just think of nowhere. Andy and Devon have traveled the globe in search of these killers to find out why there's a spike in shark attacks. Oh, so I went underwater with their team in the Bahamas to get an up-close look at some of the ocean's ruthless eating machines. Don't act like food, don't look like food, don't smell like food, don't be food. With that, we head out to the Atlantic for my first experience eye to eye with a shark. That, oh, that's a school of sharks. Yeah, definitely. Our boat was immediately surrounded by nine-foot Caribbean reef sharks, all looking for lunch. I still can't even count how many there are. There's more than a dozen. Okay. The sharks I'm facing today are normally shy around divers, but they've been known to become aggressive while feeding. So for my first dive, the crew recommends I wear a chain metal shark suit for extra protection. It weighs over 20 pounds. It's got that feeling of safety. And with this special mask, I can talk freely. So you're on the dive with me. Ready? Yeah, shark on your right. Look down. Shark on your right. Wow. To see them up close, it's unbelievable. i got to keep turning around and turning around because they're in all directions and you don't want to miss a minute. The experience was incredible. These reef sharks are not the ruthless killers I expected. Oh, it's beautiful. But if their food source continues to decline, experts say sharks may be forced to look for an easy meal elsewhere. Could the decimation of sharks actually be creating a shark apocalypse? Could sharks be moving closer to land and increasing attacks? Check this out. So the team from Shark Apocalypse decided to conduct an experiment to test a shark's palate. So what we have behind us is basically a shark buffet. We've got fish. Pork, beef links, 
turkey. We even have a vegan option. We have a watermelon there. It kind of looks like a sea turtle. And we want to see which ones the tiger sharks prefer. A 14-foot tiger shark approaches and goes straight for the barracuda, a fish that's part of its typical diet. Oh! Let's see what it takes next. It's biting the pig in half. Discovery Channel experts say pork is the closest thing to human flesh. Go straight through it. Let's see if he goes for the turkey next. Here it goes, here it goes. Oh, it's taking the turkey. The lesson here, if you disrupt a shark's environment, take away their fish, they'll feed on the next best thing. Oh, it's taking the whole thing. But what if there was a way for humans to repel sharks? Dr. Patrick Rice is a scientist developing a special chemical to fend off these killers. So Patrick, how does it work? We discovered that decaying shark tissue releases a substance called a necromone. It's a death pheromone. And so what we've done is we've isolated the compounds to create a shark repeller. Well, I don't know about you, but let's get in the water and test it. Sure. <laughs> to test it out, in this dive, Devin Massain baits the reef sharks into a feeding frenzy. Whoa, there's a lot of sharks down here. The chemicals from a dead shark will chase them away. That was close. Hey, Devin, the hands are repellent now. Watch what happens when the chemical is released. Holy crap, it's working. Hey, y'all. The repellent obviously was. Within seconds, the sharks disappear. There's absolutely nothing around it. These experiments are important to better understand why these brutal attacks occur and how to stop them. Every time that I ever got into the water as a diver, I always thought of sharks, instantly. Every single time, I was petrified of sharks. But let's face it, the chances you'll be attacked by a shark? One in 11.5 million, to be exact. When they happen, they are brutal. Paul de Gelder's shark attack lasted just eight seconds. The shark continued to shake me, basically like a dog would a rag doll. It's just this big, pink plume all the way around me. I just focused on getting to that safety boat. It was all I wanted to do. Swim as hard and as fast as I could. He lost both a hand and a leg that day. The shark had basically removed all of my hand, uh, except for one finger. I think my thumb was almost inside out. Um, there was a bit of, of thumb meat. But that was it, and there was nothing that could be salvaged. And even if they don't mean for us to be their food, Paul's experience is a testament to the sheer power and strength of the ocean's natural predators. Coming face to face with death didn't stop Paul. He continues to dive regularly, even with sharks. I think everything just fell into place for me. Someone was smiling on me that day. For Nightline, I'm Sam Champion in Nassau, Bahamas.